Uh, so this is this is real cool. This is real cool. I've uh, I've actually been in the scene. Well, I've been on Smashboard since 2001. I've been playing the game since the Smash series since I was nine years old, and I'm, wow, I'm going to be 24 in about six weeks. Veteran. So uh, or actually, like actually no, eight, eight weeks. So I just I, sometimes I just take a big step back. And I'm just like, wow, I can't believe I'm here doing this now. The the 13 year old in me is uh, really just happy and high fiving future me. So uh, it's pretty cool. All right. Um, now what's not pretty cool is uh, chain grabs, and we're about to see a lot of those. Yep. Um, but what go. would be pretty cool is to see uh, K Kito, I guess. That's the guy's tag. So uh, Foe going DDD. I've actually never seen Foe's DDD never before. Never have. So the key with Snake against any character is to capitalize on his landings, yeah, which, uh, you know, the game will go very even for a while. And especially with DDD, one messed up landing, you get a down throw all the way across, and you're off stage with the buffer down tilt. Yeah. Akito doing a good job. Not just keeping the same landing pattern all the way through, you know, uh, drifting back uh, at the last moment. And he's going to have to do a lot of that, and he, he really can't afford to keep getting hit up in the air like this because DDD can kill early too. Yeah. And DDD is hard to kill, so it's not like Snake and a lot of matchups where it's like he'll be like against Mennonite, for example. This would be nothing because he's still a good forty percent at least away from KO percent as is Mennonite, so it would basically be tied. Problem. So as you all know from the Metagame Minute VG Bootcamp videos, DDD spot dodge is very broken, and uh, we saw it on display right there. Wow, and I've so never seen a down air yeah, do that I've before. Yeah, never seen a down air kill. Foe has uh, been Vegas' number one player for a very long time now. Uh, SK92, I don't believe, is in attendance. Nice okay. Gordo. Uh, I guess power shielded. Uh, Z is also here, as is Lycan, who has really, uh, really improved over, over time. He's become a much better player, so he's considered definitely one of their top. Yeah, his uh, Mennonite and doubles earlier was quite impressive against K9 and Kara Flags. Yeah, I, heard, I actually I didn't get a chance to watch that set, but I heard it was really close. Yeah, really it high. was really intense. Everyone was yelling. Everyone was <laughs> everyone was yelling. <laughs> That's quite an understatement. Oh, trying to go. That was almost very sneaky. Now, something I want to point out to everyone that's, that's watching this that may have struggled with DDD, DDD's jumps, in my opinion, are not real. Pay attention to when ever he's hit off stage the especially the third and fourth jump go basically nowhere they give him a, a, a horizontal momentum pretty much no vertical momentum so you can just grab the ledge and oh, a nice c4 a sneaky little c4 there so the denver this is the guy's tag so yeah. I'm, I'm apologies to denver you'll be watching this later i thought your name was keto <laughs> all right so let's see how we can land from this uh, I don't think he's going to get away with the landing. He's going to chase them and grab them every time. Okay, so he survives the back air despite the uh, despite the questionable DI. Oh, Not surviving that. that. Surprise uh, Gordo, though. Yeah. The birthday Gordo. All right, so some sort of run needs to be made uh, immediately because uh, Foe is just demonstrating his, his control over... Over playing Smash Brothers, I mean, this guy just really just understands what it takes to to be a top level player, to to adapt, to just move, have all the inputs exactly where you need them. Pivot, <laughs> pivot, swallow. Yeah, wow. We are, we are not able to get another uh, an image of the singles bracket. Sorry about that, Razor. How many entrants were there today in singles? In singles? I Qu uh, quite a few close people. To 55? 55, very, that's, that's really nice. We, there was uh, 26 last year in Arizona. Yeah. And, uh, which is, which, you know, appreciate the 26 people coming out, but uh, 55, a major upgrade. I believe it is Arizona's largest tournament it has for Brawl out here in Salvation. Very cool. Thank that, you for <laughs> everyone that's coming out. No, it should have been an up tilt right there on that up B, but it didn't happen. And uh, I'm not sure. Until, oh, wow. Okay. So pretty much, I feel like the only hope for Keto, if he can even survive this invincibility, which he does, 
Yeah, it does I get grabbed, though. Be ended. Wow. All right, so no JV. Uh, Foe takes game one very solidly with the DDD. And uh, now he's switching to Marth. That is one thing I definitely uh, admire about top players, their ability to play all, like so many different characters. I, For me, I can only play... Uh, I can only play Olimar, I can play Meta Knight, kinda, I can play Luigi, kinda, kinda, play Snake, uh, and then everything else is uh, very difficult. So this is another difficult matchup for, for Snake because if he gets that grab, yeah. he's, uh, he's off stage. And there it is, although uh, Foe's just going to like to go for the damage. Oh, he tried to get that nice little Z4 to back air. Denver's got to watch those landings. He's he's getting... Uh, he survives that. Oh, and Foe, the Pokemon oh, Stadium oh. ledges. So, a uh, very fortunate thing there. He's going to have to capitalize definitely very strong because Foe likely isn't going to give him any more gifts. All right, so even game. But uh, Snake, you never know with that crazy damage output. And, yeah, smart to just get out of there. Because yeah. even though Snake has such amazing uh, close quarters combat, he really can't afford to get grabbed. Yeah, he, he needs to take uh, advantage of this time right now because he cannot be chain grabbed at this point with the terrain of the Pokemon Stadium. So. Wow, good smash DI by, by Foe. Really avoided a pretty uh, terrible situation. And uh, dies oh. after all that. Two so um, about... Freddy and Fro not giving him any more gifts uh, just keeps happening. So uh, Denver's you can capitalize on this. We may see uh, this go to game three. However, remember Fo does have a very uh, expert level Ness, very expert level Meta Knight. So even if he does end up dropping this game, uh, you know those characters will likely make their way out. So we'll see. Very, uh, you know, Denver he's capitalizing on uh, on the momentum and getting and you can feel uh, Freddy maybe get start to. Look get a little desperate for the kill even and then with Falco it's very hard to kill Guess the back air barely survives nice. now let's see if he can get very this landing nice. reads the air dodge but it's not enough good up air now what if I were Denver I would stay on a platform just get hit to 40 if need be and then go in and fight because you cannot afford what exactly what has happened just there fortunate grenade oh, oh. Uh, and wow Ooh, Project Melee. I might enter that. I've never played myself. I, I'm not a fan of Melee mechanics. No offense to any Melee players. <laughs> just, it's, not, it's not my game. Bo both games are, are very wonderful in their yep, own right. Yep, and yep. Just because one person's happy doesn't mean another person has to be sad. And exactly. We all exist in harmony. Yay. <laughs> if only there'd be uh -huh. harmony. All right, so even a dash attack. I wonder if he knows about the grab release. Ooh, there no grab release go. necessary. Going to game three between Denver and Foe. All right, so this this is really interesting. I mean, you saw Freddy actually mess up quite a bit yeah. in that set. Now, then again, it is Falco, a character that I've actually never seen him play before. And here goes oh, the Meta Knight. And those blood, those off stage. Uh, now we'll, we'll see. I've actually I don't I don't know this player Denver. I don't know what kind of practice he has, and if there's anything he can expose just in these three stocks here. It's a very very classic matchup here. One of you early days of Brawl and even really to this day this is a matchup we see uh, quite a bit and uh, Foe wasting no time just aggressive as ever no really I, I think Foe is one of the most aggressive man that I've seen he's always in your face yeah without a doubt uh, Foe just really has no regard and just goes in very very hard and, uh, you know, that's normally I would advise against that for anyone trying to learn the character or people learning the game, you know, just take your breaks and just learn to back out. Uh, Foe is one of those rare exceptions. He, he sees those holes and he knows how to just get momentum back very quickly. So it can be, it can be pretty scary fighting him, especially even when you, you get in on him and you think you kind of got something going and he just hits you out of it and it continues to string. Whoa. And uh, this is looking uh, this is pretty, like pretty brutal. Uh, Denver, Denver, you know, good showing games one and two, but here with the Meta Knight, he's looking uh, a little outmatched right now. 
so good use of the grenade to help with the landing there. <laughs> the grenade shield, folks. <laughs> and you can just, you can just tell, wow, grabs in the back air. You can, you can tell, tell just a little, little outmatch. This is good, good experience. No remorse. No mercy. Wow. I'm sure Denver is a very nice, respectable member of the community, but this is a combo video right now. Wow. So uh, quite the demonstration by by foe. Uh, good shit to Denver. Shoot <laughs> to Denver for taking it to game three. But uh, foe is too strong. I believe foe's on my side of the bracket, so that's what I get to put up with. You all get to chill on your stream and just watch. I have I have a lot of stress I'm about to go through. So 